Guys, only the soy sauce assassin. Today we are doing a cigar review that is for a cigar that's been in my humidor for quite some time. Uh, I believe it came from Eric, of course, because I'm trying to clean out all, all this thing, the backlog that we had exchanged uh, for a while. And I come to this stick. Uh, it's called the Cavalier Geneva. White Series Limited Release 2023. Uh, it looks like this. So, without going going too far, let's let's just look at the cigar. The Cavalier Geneva White Series Limited the release uh, 2023 is six and a quarter by 48 Toro. It's got a Habano Sea Nicaraguan wrapper uh, from Jalapa, and inside is uh, a Connecticut binder, which I assume is a uh, broadleaf, and the filler are uh, Dominican, Honduras, Nicaraguan, and Paraguay. So it's a very Packed cigar with a lot of leaf in there. I'm assuming that's gonna give me a little bit of trouble cutting it later. It's got a pigtail. Um, obviously, uh, it's a flat one. I don't know why they do that, but it's a flat one. It's got a piece of gold leaf on it. Uh, MSRP is $13.50 per cigar, and the production is 500 numbered box of 15 cigars produced in Honduras. So yeah, you can see it's a rough, rough cigar, but we'll, 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 we'll get to it. All right, so giving it a little bit of smell. It's just woodsy and leafy smell. Not much to it. All right. Give it a cut and a light. Okay, the cut's okay. Oh my God. All right, this is going to give me trouble. A little bit of trouble. So... When you cut it right away, you can see like a solid stem in there that sits there. It usually gets me a little weary, but draw seems to be okay. <clears throat> the footband, just say limited release, <clears throat> 503. Very nice, comes right off. Cold dry is stinky, musty, woodsy. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Gotta get right to it. Okay. Spice, leather, coffee. It's like chili pepper spice too. Woodsiness. Really dark and deep. A little bit of sourness too.
Um, little bit of earthiness, a little bit of mineral. Yeah, pepper. That's what I got. So let me smoke one third and we'll be right back. All right, first third. First third, you get this like a woodsy char, cocoa, earthy note. And because how narrow this thing is, it's actually quite a hard draw. Roughly about medium. Smoke ball could is kind of okay. A little bit of spice. You know, overall, it tastes like a normal cigar. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, it, it's enjoyable, yet feel like a chore. Enjoyable, yet feels like a chore. But we'll see if it loosens up. I might just pull that stem out. Um, but like you can see the feeling is really not even. It also has a little bit of... Um, Like a generic sweetness to it. Goes well with that cocoa. Kind of makes it taste like milk chocolate, but it's not. Yeah. The the draw really makes it feel like it's heavier than it is. Because I'm going through a lot to give that draw. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what second and third give us. Because it's going to touch the goal. Once we touch the goal, we'll see how that goes. But right now, it, it tastes like a relatively normal cigar. I, I, it's a lot of work for them to put all that blend together to taste somewhat normal. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So, I'll be right back. All right, second, third. And I want to call it the second, third because it's second, third. So, uh, it starts to have a little bit of floral. A little bit of floral notes. And that kind of messed up that cocoa taste because it makes the cocoa taste kind of not like cocoa but it has floral no a little bit of earthiness Ooh, a little bit of earthiness and that's pretty much it that's the second third uh because of the draw i think it ramped up to medium plus but that's pretty much it that's not nothing nothing particular in this not not crazy amount of um of difference despite of how many different tobaccos are in there you would think that with that many tobacco in here it would be different right but it doesn't it's, it's just like some flavor just died during the marriage of all the flavors like to be honest even if you remove the powder gray tobacco nobody can tell the difference there's probably so little in there nothing not no nobody can know the difference Main bang, main bang, bang, man, main band. Oh my god, uh, it's like that white plastic-ish feeling band. It's really shiny. Uh, it's like what what a guy holding holding a horse is about to jump on. <laughs> okay, so that's what we got. That's what we got. Yeah, I can't read. It. I don't. I know probably bottoms is cover layer, but I don't know what the top is. Oh, Geneva. Okay, here we go. Hey, right. so we're into that gold part. Let's smoke it through. And we will go to the summary. Be right back. All right, I am done. You can see a little bit gold burning over there. <sighs> that gold doesn't add any value other than make the cigar taste mineral and bad. Okay, I don't like that flavor. When I smoke that flavor, I think about the gold cigar that we smoked a while back. That's just all, all gold. It's all mineral. It makes you just feel sick. Okay, and after that passed, I got a few whiffs that taste like incense. Uh, and that could possibly be that powder gray leaf. I don't know. I, I don't really know how powder gray itself tastes like. So I can't tell where the powder gray is because I see characteristic for Nicaraguan. I see characteristic of Honduras. I see character uh, of, uh, of Dominican. I even see uh, Connecticut. I think the Connecticut is actually just Connecticut, not, not broad leaf. It doesn't have any broad leaf uh, characteristics in here. So I'm smoking it, you know. I don't see a lot of good characteristic that will be like, oh my God, this cigar is amazing. This cigar is different. 
they, 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 there's no way to make this flavor had they not put Paraguay in there or four different filler in there. I, I feel like they could do the same thing with just two filler. Uh, you know, I feel like some, some flavor just lost. Yeah, I feel like some some flavor was just lost in uh, in the marriage uh, of all the flavors. It doesn't taste very particular. It doesn't taste very out of this world. Um, you know, the balance I don't think is there. Uh, it's a I'm gonna say it's a beginner cigar. It's a it's a normal. You see the gold leaf. You want to pick it up and smoke it one time kind of cigar. Thus, I'm giving the price of seven fifty. Seven fifty is uh, what I'm willing to get this cigar for because I really don't feel anything different about the cigar, and I don't see why this should cost thirteen fifty. Other than that, gold leaf. Now, keep in mind, gold leaf doesn't cost that much. Like for that small slip, that's not that's not much. So uh, I don't I don't I think the the way they put it together is attractive. But when you smoke it, you're like, oh, I feel like I smoked one of these before for cheaper. Or cheaper so that's what i got all right so that will be it for this particular review thanks to eric for sending me the cigar uh because I, I would otherwise wouldn't have bought it i bought i bought some cavalier back in the days and i smoked one i think i smoked one type of that cavalier or two uh and i never bought cavalier from there for, since then and that's the uh, first one for a while that i have i have smoked a cavalier cigar so Big thanks to him. Uh, if you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, check out our podcast. Check out our membership. Check out our, our swag. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it's better than this one because I need to smoke some good stuff. Bye, guys.